Queenstown Road, Dublin, President O'Kelly greeted the all-conquering Welsh 15 for their match with Ireland, which was to decide the destination of the mythical Triple Crown. Then with DJ O'Brien, captain of the Irish 15, before a huge crowd keyed up to the heights of excitement, he told the Irish team to go in there and win for Old Ireland. Wales knew what they wanted, and past performances made them favourites. Murphy kicked off for Ireland. It was soon clear that Wales would be on top. The first call came from a penalty against Ireland seven minutes after the start. Nearly 30 yards out and near the touchline, Lewis Jones scored a grand goal to put Wales in the lead. Well, nobody was surprised. Wales gave the Springboks a big fright in their match. Then from a Miller throw-in, Wales developed an attack. Stevens of Neath received and ran through to touchdown. Lewis Jones failed to convert and Wales were now six points ahead. And it was no use talking out of your hat because Wales were on top. Here's Alan Thomas in action as Wales set up another attack. Ken Jones with the ball. He's running right through. Bit of a struggle, but he's over. Again, Lewis Jones failed, and at half-time it was Wales 9, Ireland 0. Resuming, Ireland tried hard to reduce the deficit. Soon after the restart, Wales were penalised in their own 25. Murphy took the kick. Now it was Wales 9, Ireland 3, and the game was alive again. Ireland attacked fiercely, and here's a grand run that just came unstuck. Then Wales settled the issue. From a movement started by Roy John, six yards from the line, he passed to Clem Thomas, and the Swansea forward stormed through to touchdown. Lewis Jones converted, and Wales won brilliantly by 14 points to three to win the Triple Crown for the ninth time.